Welcome back to my channel, Classic Volkswagen Lovers. This is Junior with Classic VW Bug and Sony the Super Beetle. Today I'm sending greetings to Slay VW Garage, my friends uh, Damien and Chris. If you're watching my videos and you're following me on Sonny's uh, Full Restoration and you like the contents of my videos, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe. Today, all you will need is a screwdriver, one with a big flat head. And what we're doing today is we're going to install the pressure relief valve. If you happen to have a 1600 configuration, your 1600 has a dual release case. As you can see, port one here and port two. The one closest to the oil pump is what we know as the oil pressure relief valve and the one closer to the flywheel this one here is the pressure regulator if you happen to have a 1200 engine or a 1500 engine you won't have a dual configuration you will only have the port connection closest to the oil pump I put together a paper and I draw what represents a engine and a stand and I'm pointing out here for you the pressure relief valve and the pressure regulator valve for your 1600 configuration the big red dot in the middle represents the opening for the oil strainer if you have a 1300 or a 1500 you will have a configuration like the one in the bottom you will only have one port connection for your pressure relief valve. So before you assemble that, make sure that your parts are complete. <clears throat> you look in your uh, gasket set and pull out the gaskets that you will need or seal washers that go on the caps. I'm going to take this little piston here and try it in the port connection before I decide I want to install it and make sure that it runs uh, in and out with ease and what I mean by that this little piston here should go in and out here in and out with ease and the reason being is because if by any chance one of these guys gets stuck in there your engine will overheat yourself maybe a, a bolt like this put some painters tape and take your uh, piston and plug it into that and give it a try to see if it goes in freely because this piston needs to slide in there in and out freely or otherwise you risk a chance that your engine may overheat notice that I am not applying any type of um, force to it is going in and out easy um, just grab yourself a bolt this one happens to be the one for the starter wrap some painter tape and then just go ahead and plug your piston in there so that you can push it in and out and assure that it fits in there fine Okay, after you lubricate the port, you can go ahead and assemble your piston. Now I'm going to grab the, the spring, the screwdriver, and the seal. Give it a good soak in oil. To the spring then just put it back in there and grab your cap with the seal and screw it on
it is really important that you understand that those springs you won't need to compress them uh, before you put them in there or expand them they are already set to the right length so there's no need for you to do that and all you want to do is make sure you give it a good tight with your screw until you squeeze that seal a little bit and that should be it then next we'll do the same thing with the other one we'll take this little piston here and I'm gonna plug it in here like so and all I want to do is make sure that it slides in and out easy so that I can assure that it's not going to get stuck and my engine is going to get overheated. Next we're going to grab some oil, lubricate that, that should be enough. And we grab our other spring, again a little tiny spring here. And what we're going to do, we're just going to give it a good soak in oil. And grab our, our nut here, or cap. I'll make sure that we put this here with the screwdriver. And there you go that's it so what process next is to install the the strainer and our gaskets strainer gasket and cap well that's it for today I hope that you enjoyed this video again if you like the contents if you like my channel if you're following me with Sony's full restoration if you like my channel give me a thumbs up and subscribe. Thank you. Junior out.